Hey guys, Adam Grumbo back here again. <clears throat> uh, today what we're going to do is we're gonna go over the painting tutorial once again. We're going to change a few aspects of the really old one that was shot about three years ago and show you some new techniques for how to get that really awesome paint job for your armor. So today we're going to be painting Blue Realms Mark VI Master Chief Armor and we're going to be painting it a bunch of shades of red. Uh, we're using three different colors of red. We're going to be using Colonial Red, Burgundy for the dark red, and Sweet Tomato, which is kind of a kind of a brighter orangish red. I'm also going to be using a flat black as well as some chrome finish for the highlights. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put a base coat of colonial red on all of the pieces. No, I'm not going to use a, I'm not going to use a uh, primer this time, just because I'm in a hurry. So normally, what you'd want to do is use a plastic primer, but I'm going to skip that part. I've been casting pieces in Smoothcast Onyx, which is a black color anyway. So when it gets scratched, it doesn't look as bad as if it's a white color. So there we go. Okay, now that we have the first coat on all of our parts, we are going to have to wait until this is thoroughly dry before we start adding any additional paint. If we don't wait till it's completely dry, the second coat will actually peel up the paint from the first coat. So we're going to wait a bit. Go have some lunch. So it's sad I don't really like the burgundy color. It's a little bit too pink. It's a little bit too fuchsia for my, for my tastes. So I'm gonna go straight to the sweet tomato. I'm only going to spray the accent parts, uh, some of the higher edge parts that would receive more wear than, uh, say, some of the recessed parts. To help me get, to help me reach the uh, higher edge parts, I'm going to use a paintbrush, standard paintbrush. I'm going to brush on the paint for the paintbrush and then brush it right onto the piece of armor. just adding another layer of color. Now if you look at actual painted metal pieces, when it gets scratched or when it gets worn down, usually what happens is the paint basically gets buffed and it gets buffed to a lighter color. Look at some of the old army boxes and things of that nature or uh, old trains. You'll have colors where the old paint, you'll have places where the paint has uh, been pretty protected and is the original color and you'll have places where the paint has worn <coughs> where the paint has worn away and is now a basically lighter version of that same paint. It's what we're trying to replicate here.
So as you can see here, you can uh, notice that they're, even with two different paints, appear to be a lot more color variation in the armor. And don't forget, we're still going to put at least two more coats on of different colors. So on to the next step. Okay, you remember how before we would use the uh, black automotive primer to do the shadows uh, and the dark spots in the armor? We're not going to do that anymore. We're actually going to use acrylic paints, regular old acrylic paints. Now what I have here is uh, flat black and a white. The reason for that is because full on black doesn't look quite right when you do it. So I'd like to uh, make it a little bit gray and uh, using the gray for the shadows actually makes it look pretty good. I'm also going to water it down with some water to give it the right look. Let's look. Alright, just like we did way back when with the black primer, I'm going to use my watered down black to fill in all of the recessed areas. You don't have to be exact with this because we're going to use the paper towel to remove the excess. Just make sure you get it in every little nook and cranny. Alright, now I finished the dark wash on all my parts. So what I'm going to do now is add some of the dark details. Okay, the dark details are just what you expect them to be. The places on the armor that are intended to be black. So I'm just going to hand brush those in with the same acrylic that we used to do the wash. Okay, I finished up the detail painting of the armor pieces. Now what I'm going to do is rough them up a little bit more uh, to make them look like they have dirt in the crevices. So as you can see, got the uh, black details painted in. Uh, what we're going to do now is dirty these up because this black is too pristine looking. So what we're going to do is add some mud, not real mud mind you. We're going to use mud colored acrylics. So just like we did with the black shadowing wash, we're going to do the same thing with the mud wash. These are the two colors I'm going to use. Uh, this is classic gold, this is earth brown. I'm going to mix them together, give me a nice dirty clay, clay type color.
All right, now that I got all my dirt and mud onto the costume, last step I'm gonna do is add some highlight scratches using our chrome that we got. It's the same technique as, uh, as the last video. We're gonna use a paintbrush and the chrome, and we're just gonna brush on the edges, just like this. Okay, this is what all the pieces look like painted up. The only thing we're missing is the helmet and the boots. So you're gonna have to wait to see what those look like. Stay tuned.